Uh, good morning people and welcome to another tutorial Today I'm going to be doing another review of the Suzuki 400cc 4x4 IGOC rod runner um, Yeah, so Today I'm going to be teaching basic riding um, What what all the functions doing What all the functions do and um why I personally would recommend, why I would personally recommend um, this particular bike. Everyone is different. Everyone's got the brands and so on. But um, this is one I personally recommend. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, there's been a few modifications or a few things that have been changed around ever since the last video. Number one, the bar light that used to be at the front is now at the back. So. This is actually now my reversing light for night time, especially if you want to reverse and you don't want to crash into any cars or anything like that. So this just gives the reverse light at night. Um, not only that, um, you've also got, um, so this is only comes on in the, in, uh, when the lights are turned on, the tail light. Um, so on the left side of the handlebars we've got a brake got the brake we've also got the high and low beam so that's high beam high low beam high beam you've got your you've got your um you've got your kill switch and also you've got your um over here you've got your electric start so and your track too so this is a carby system so it's it's to be choked and yeah on the right side we have um, another brake um, which is the front brake we also have we also have um, the accelerator we also got a we also got the um forward drive so that's a part-time forward drive we can stick it in and out of forward drive and um everything like that so that pretty much explains the top of it um the keys um the ignition actually turns twice so the first turn turns the bike on and then the second turn turns the lights on so now since the lights are on we can have a check yep the lights are running it's on low beam if we were to stick it on high beam the LED bar light kicks in um, we'll put that back on low beam um, we're also getting power from here so we've got the back light and also the tail light so that's the light system um, here as well. But we don't, since it's daytime, we don't need the lights on. So we can turn the lights off. Um, yeah, um, actually talking about the front bar light, this bar light is the new feature of this bike. When I done the last tutorial, I actually didn't have this bar light at the time. But I had the toolbox. So the toolbox has been here. And all that so now with the explaining the bike we are actually going to warm her up because she's cold so she's choked we got uh and also the last thing i've got to mention too is the the foot brake and the gear selector switch plus a um a pull start so you could uh, if you had a flat battery or if it's still in gear you can literally pull start it and it'll work but at this, um, we won't be using the pull start, we'll use the electric start, so we'll start her up. So she's just warming up. Let's give her time to warm up. Pretty good motor, pretty strong bike, it's 
long as you look after them and don't thrash them, they actually quite they actually do the good job. So just wait for it to warm up. It takes a couple of minutes. So she's not warm, but um, just jump on it. Ooh. So we don't want to ride or um, we don't want to um, ride on on the choke because you can actually um, you can actually do your carby your carburetor like that. So what we'll do is we'll just let it warm up off the choke just a bit, and then what we're going to do is we're going to once it's warmed up enough, we're going to click into first gear and high gear. So at the moment it's in neutral, but we want to do first. Just slow it down, stop choking it. And a couple of revs just to let things go. Then we want to go click up once, so click. And then now we can slowly in the throttle. Now we're starting to move. Slowly, we don't have to speed. So we're just going slow. I'll take you around the, the, the I'll take you around the, the front or the side here, and then we'll, we'll show you changing gears. So give it a bit more throttle. Take the throttle off, change, put the throttle back on. Now you're in second. Rolling in second. Remember, don't turn too sharply, or she can actually flip the bike. Give it a bit more throttle. Let go, change. Put it back on. Now we're in Fuki. So, this is just basic riding. Um, we're just going over a bump. And step down gears, you just go down one. Two, now we're back in first. So what we're going to do is now we're going to hook up the trailer. I'll show you other things. So just let me, let me just think. So what we'll do is we'll take it out of gear. So it's a neutral again. See, we're not moving. And then we want to grab this gear lever. Then we want to stick it into R. So that's reverse. And then we want to reverse to that trailer. Make sure you're sort of in line. It might be a little bit cold, so. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that tow bar and then we're going to put it, we're going to put it on that, um, the tow, the, we're going to grab this tow coupling and we're going to put it on the tow ball. So, I'm just going to put you down, and then once I finish, I will give you a demonstration. Oh. So, sorry, the bike's still a bit cold, so that's why it would have cocked out. So, we are hooked up to the trailer. So, what we're going to do is we're going to oh, hang on, reopen that, just take that out close that and for safety you always put the pin in just so it doesn't accidentally thing so we'll put the pin in yep oh pin's crooked so let us just there you go now the pin's securely in so that means that trailer's not going to go nowhere so let's jump back on the bike Oh, and now we're back in neutral so now we're going to be using the low gears and it's the reason why we're going to be using the low gears is because um, first and foremost we are carrying a load at the back which is the trailer so in this example so we'll start the bike back up make sure we'll pull start here eh? there we go now it's been pull started give it a couple of revs now you're going to notice a little bit of a difference 
um, I'm actually going to change uh, that's going to be the revs are going to pick up faster and that's only because it's a lower ratio gear so we'll go for a ride with the trailer on see we're actually we're actually in first gear and low but it's not going that fast because it's a lower ratio gear so it's more meant for strength rather than speed like the high gears same thing you get to a certain rev take it off change put it back on same with the second gear take your throttle off change and take your throttle off change and uh, put it back on that's in third gear we're just going around in circles just so I can demonstrate still got the trailer following us got the goats wondering what we're doing so we're in third gear just cruising and cruising with the trailer on the goats trying to follow me so this is third gear um, so this, this, these gears are usually used for um, they're mainly used for um, carrying loads um, we're not in four wheel drive because the only time you really need four wheel drive is when you're um, to oh, when you're going uphill with towing things so we're currently just using two wheel drive so yeah this is pretty much um, basic riding it's not the most complicated uh, advanced riding and this is riding a centrifugal clutch bike so with these bikes you need no, no need to have an extra clutch or thing it in and out look the goat's getting excited so yeah this is this basic riding of a bike and how to do it and yeah Then when you want to slow down, what you've got to remember is when you're since you're dealing with a manual bike, you never you never all of a sudden take your thing off the throttle. So what I mean is you don't go like this. So I'll show you. I'll just I'll just, I'll just go somewhere where I get a lot of um, at least a lot of air, a lot of um, momentum. So you never do this. Watch out, go. Listen to the bike never do that to a bike okay what you do is when you're riding and if you're wanting to slow down if you're wanting to slow down you slightly you slightly let off see it's not as it doesn't go tear 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 like it did before and that just saves your gears because you can actually ruin your gears hang on I'll just go step down lower gear um, it actually lowers your gear, it actually ruins your gears and puts stress on your gears when you actually use your gears as an engine brake. So that's one thing I do recommend when you're not when you're riding is not to use your thing as an engine brake. So yeah, this is the basic riding. Um, we're just going around in circles, but I'm showing you, and, and this is with a trailer too, how to ride off a trailer. Now what I'll do is I'll show you how to back with the trailer. And some of the tricks, because it, it, it is a little bit tricky. It's sort of like if you were to use a normal car to back with a trailer. But I'm going to be showing you how to back with a motorbike with a trailer on it. So let me just go to a posse. And I'll back this trailer back to where it's going and then I'll park it up. But I'll show you. So the bike's pretty much warmed up. Second, first gear. I think we're in first gear. I oh, know we're in neutral. So now we want to go back to reverse. So when you're when you're reversing, when you're reversing a um, trailer, when the goat will move. Hang on, I'll just get that goat to move. Sorry, it's out of the tutorial. But when you're when you're when you're when you're backing a trailer, you got to make sure that this stays in line with that. Because, or, well, when you're back, but unless you're turning the trailer, so you've got to follow the trailer, do your best. So let me show you. I'll just sit back on the thing. So these the that's what I'm lining it up with. And what I want to do is I want to back it up there. So 
what we want to do is we want to turn our steering wheel sharp um, to the right and what that's going to do is that's going to swing the bike that way and then the trailer is going to swing that way and that's where I want it so we'll do it now watch the trailer and then once it gets too angled see the angle has changed that's when you turn it the other way turn your handlebars the other way angle it and then if you don't get it right like that's not quite right so you go back into first gear and low just go forward bring it till you can get straight enough and then after that you want to back it up make sure it's straight and that's how you back a trailer. I mean, it's more complicated than that if you want to do turns and all that, but um, a recommendation to have is a single dual bar trailer. So this has got a single dual bar. It actually gives you more um, angles to turn. Um, if you've got a double dual bar trailer, um, it's actually, um, you've got more narrow turns than a single dual bar. So this is just teaching you basically how to ride a motorbike, the basics. Um, I probably will cover complicated like hill climbing and all that in the future but for now I'm just covering the basics of riding ATVs and all that so you've been listening to Robbie T, Tamati Tuhaka and until next time I'd like to say choo choo, have a good day and um, hope you learned something.